Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to host a Minecraft Pocket Edition server using this new software called Nucket. So as a lot of you already know, I'm not a big fan of the Pocket Mine software, which is what people have had to use to host MCPE servers since, you know, Pocket Edition has gotten multiplayer. So I wanted to give this a shot and I really hope it's going to be better because a lot of the, you know, reasons that, you know, Pocket Mine has become a failure is because they don't keep up on the updates. Uh, plugins have kind of been... Yeah, there's not a whole lot of good ones, you know, and after they redid their framework, a lot of them were incompatible and never really recovered. And a lot of hackers get into it and, you know, can kind of take over the server. So, yeah, Pocketmine has kind of gone downhill the last few months and even the last year. So I'm really hoping this one can be better. So I'm just going to show you how to work, how it works uh, and give my review on it as well. So let's go ahead and just download it first. I have a link in the description to their Jenkins page here. Uh, you can just see uh, this file right here it says nucket one dat or one dot o dash snapshot dot jar. Uh, just go ahead and get that one. It should just be listed under the last successful artifact or artifacts, whatever. Uh, if you're watching this later on, it might be like 1.1 if it's you know finally released. So just go ahead and download the latest one from there. And I'll also have a link to this page here that has a couple other resources on it. Uh, this is not actually from one of the developers, but he did want to post about it, and this is where I actually saw about uh, everything about it. So, uh, yeah, I don't know who this guy is, but he posted it. So, yeah, go ahead and just download that jar file, and then go into the description, which is where all these links will be, and get this little snippet of code here and paste it into a uh, a file called start.cmd. So let's do that. Right click it, go to edit, and paste that right there into it. So what you're gonna wanna do is rename Nucket, that long file name to just nucket.jar, and you should be good to go. It's really simple to run. And then it, since it will be creating a bunch of files, what you're gonna wanna do is make a folder wherever, I'm just gonna make it on my desktop, and you're, you're gonna wanna put these two files into that folder. Oops, there we go. So let's go ahead and run it. Now this is a problem you might run into and I actually ran into this problem with my other computer. I didn't know if it was gonna happen on this one, but I'm actually kind of glad it did so I can go over it. So the issue is this little bit right here. So it says percent Java home percent bin java.exe. That isn't working. I'm not even sure why it's not working, but what you're gonna wanna do is go wherever you have Java installed. So it might be under program files x86, although if you have that, you might, you might wanna change that to the 64-bit version, uh, which would be under program files. So most cases it's gonna be under program files, but if you don't see it under there, go to program files x86. So program files, Java, JRE, this one is 1.8, that's what you should have installed. And right here is where java.exe is. So let's go ahead and just copy this path from up here. And we'll replace that much like that. Make sure you have that slash there. And it should look, you know, something like this. And also make sure you don't take out that quote at the beginning. So it should be a quote, this long path, and then it should have java.exe and then another quote. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what happened with the Java, the percent Java home thing, but it didn't work. So let's go ahead and try to run that now. And there you go, you can see it's starting up. We have to put in whatever language we have. Obviously, I'm speaking English. And there we go, it's ready, it's running, and you can actually join it from you know another device like my phone or tablet or even probably Windows 10 edition uh, right from here on the same network. Now, it is important to port forward your server, which would be with the uh, 19132 port, just like Pocketmine. Uh, but as usual, I'm not gonna be going over port forwarding because it's different for everybody. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stop this server and go into the server properties. Let's go to more apps and open it with either Notepad or WordPad. WordPad. I like WordPad more, so I'm gonna go with that one. And we can change some stuff up. So we can change the message of the day. I'm just gonna change it to Dogger2011. Server port, we're gonna leave the same, but if you wanna host multiple servers, what you can do is have the, you know, the server port for this one be 19132, and for your secondary or even your third server, you'd have to change the port to like 19133 or 19134, something different than 19132. Maximum, uh, maximum amount of players, we'll change that to like 40, that's what I think I had it set to before. Allow flight, off. Uh, if you ha if you run into any like lag and stuff like that, you can reduce the amount of players on the server, but you can also turn off spawning animals and mobs, um, although it's not generally all that laggy to begin with, so I'm just going to leave those on. 
and really all of this stuff is okay. I'm gonna change force game mode to on, which means that if even if like I'm an admin or something, I can change my game mode, but when I quit and come back, it's gonna go back to the default game mode. So even if I change myself to creative, it's gonna go back to survival. So just a extra security measure right there. And you should be good to go. Now, I'm not, I don't know about any plugins. I haven't seen any plugins for this server software yet, but I'm really hoping that you know people start to adapt to this and start making plugins to, for it because it's gonna be a lot better, I think, than uh, PocketMind. But let's go ahead and just run it and see what we get. So all of these have been created here. And a lot of the commands are the same. Like if you wanna OP somebody, if I wanna OP myself, there we go, I'm OP. I'm not even on the server yet. Uh, if you want to kick somebody, just type kick, ban, type ban, change your game mode, just type game mode, and then you have to add parameters to it, like game mode creative to dogger2011, but I'm not on the server. Uh, let's see, you can also change the time, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you can do time set and do something like day or zero or whatever. Uh, your worlds are obviously st stored under here. You can copy them over. I'm pretty sure you can copy them over from uh, like your device and stuff if you have worlds on there. But let's go ahead. I'm going to try to join it from my phone. I'm on the same network, so I don't have to port forward or anything like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and see if it pops up. Yep, there we go. And that could be a problem. <laughs> my name is screwed up. I think what there, I think what happened was I have the name Steve... So it might have like just made it random so there's not like duplicates or something like that in the server. But either way, it is joining and I'm in. That's cool. So one of the uh, one of the things I wanted to bring up on here was the task manager and just look at my performance as I run around on the server. So I'm going to change myself. Actually, I'm just going to change my name. So uh, make it easier. Uh, that's weird. I can't change my name. Well, looks like I'm not changing my name anytime soon, so let's go ahead and just join back in. See, the name is the same, so that's okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and change my game mode to, to uh, creative. I think I could put in like the number one or something like that. There we go. So with PocketMind, what would happen is as you fly around, your CPU usage would just go through the roof. And even on my server in Atlanta, which has like all my mod located for MCPE files and my uh, PC server, even on that thing, which is fairly powerful, it would still cause the CPU to just tap out. It would be up to 100% usage and everything else on the server would lag. It was that bad. And uh, you, you can see with this one, I mean, I haven't even tested this yet. You know, this is just me, you know, trying to get out for the first time. My CPU usage is at 12%. That is much, much lower. And even though this is an eight core processor, it is not near as powerful, at least I, I shouldn't say not near, but it isn't as powerful as the processor on my server, even though that one is just a quad core. So just flying around, I mean, the server is keeping up very well. It's not, you know, causing lag and there's not a bunch of empty chunks and stuff on the server it's actually keeping up and the cpu usage is i think topped out at like 30 i think that's where this was at roughly but that was just for a second and it's averaging about 10 percent so uh, that is much much better and i've actually run pocket mine on this computer before and it would do the same thing it would just hit 100 percent all eight cores would be running at 100 percent and uh, it would just, you know, it would lag really bad. So this is really incredible to see that it's running this smoothly and it's just, it's a beta. It's not even a completed version yet. So it is working with 0.13.1, which is the latest version as of this video. And it looks like they are keeping up on it very, you know, well. If you look at the Jenkins server here, uh, they updated it today, yesterday, uh, the day before that. I mean, they update it quite a bit with this. I mean, it's, it's just smaller changes, but still. That's a lot of changes right there. So uh, that's really cool to see that they are keeping up on it and it is working really well. If there were plugins for it, which there might be, I haven't seen any, but uh, if there were plugins for it, I'd be ready to host a server with this right now. I mean, it's working really well. Uh, it's running very smoothly and I think you know you could get a lot more players and stuff fitting on one server uh, than you could with something like PocketMine. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's optimized really well. So that's what I, you know, that's what I think about it. If you guys want to go ahead and give it a shot and tell me what you think, hey, that'd be awesome. Uh, but currently I'm, you know, 
I'm going to keep my eye on this because I really do think it's a great software. It's written it's written in Java, which is uh, a lot different than uh, Pokemon, which is written in PHP or something like that. Uh, so, you know, this is uh, something to definitely keep your eye on if you are a server hoster. It is very well optimized and it's just a beta. So I want to know what you guys think. If you've tried this, leave a comment down below. And uh, if you want to see me host a server at some point, that would be cool if you left a comment too because I have actually gotten a few requests. So, uh, yeah, that is it. I'm going to keep looking for Pocketmite, or not Pocketmite, I'm going to keep looking for plugins uh, that I can add to it. And hopefully one of these days I can host a server with Nucket instead of Pocketmite.